Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to, uh... Welcome back to Battle Chasers. So, we've got things to do. Let's... Uh, screw it. I'll... We have to go get Alamon's, uh... Final... Final piece of his, uh... Of his, like, super weapon. Super... Eh, what, oh, this is not the... This is not the right place that I was intending to go to. That's the final dungeon, or boss fight. I'm not actually sure if there is even going to be another level. It'd be cool if there was. Anyway, so we want to go here. Uh, of course, there's a monster in the way. Uh, yep, monster in the way. Not that big of a deal. So yeah, we're going to go get uh, Alamon's legendary weapon, and then we're going to get Nolan's legendary weapon, and then we're going to be... Uh, then we're just going to rush for the end of the game. If we're lucky, I can actually get that done within the next, like, two hours. Uh, it really depends on how long the final dungeon is. If it's even that long. Uh, it could just be one of those where we walk in, fight the boss, and that's the end of it. Or, we could be the opposite, and it could actually be the longest dungeon in the game. I don't really know about the pacing on this game. It, uh, it's one of those with, like, longer JRPGs that makes perfect sense to have this, this big, long final dungeon that, like, really challenges you and maybe has some, like, greater plot rel uh, rev revelations. There we go. Uh, this game, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, as you approach the pool, it responds to your presence. It seems to react to something. In your possession is the filled vessel of blood, infused with the essence of vampires. So I got this off camera. I just went through the, uh, the Crimson Gardens and, um, blasted my way through it until I, until I found a, a big fountain of blood. Not like a small thing like this, but it was like a big grand fountain. And it gave me the opportunity to... Uh, fill the vessel and also drink from it to get a buff. So if any of you guys are looking for it too, this is kind of how you do it uh, in a described version after the fact. Anyway, let's place the filled vessel and let's let's fight the thing. Oh, yeah, I also needed some ancient vampire fangs. You place the vessel and jump back, startled by the increasing movement underneath the surface of the pool. Who dares summon me? Oh, right, we got the hunger. I love this guy's design. I just wish there was mild variations between him, um, how do I describe this? I wish there was a difference between, uh, the Hunger and the General Bargus, and then the Lost Souls that we found in the Crimson Garden. They just start to look a little bit similar after a little while. Okay, so we have Sunder. A cripple. Yeah, we want to we want to do Sunder. Because I want to Ooh, damage. I want to Okay, he's got an interesting feature. I should probably look at this before we go too far. Because I'm about to kill him, and he's a unique boss with interesting abilities that I've totally ignored. So, growing hunger increases attack power by 50% per stack. Reaching 5 stacks will cause the hunger to feed. Scary. That said... Can I shatter him again? I'm not even sure if Berserk was necessary. Nope, wasn't. He's... He's not even going to bleed to death. I was about to say he was going to bleed to death. This is probably a boss that would have been hard had I not, you know, had the team that I have. I don't know, this is one of those games where maybe not over-grinding kind of throws it off, but actually, uh, completionism destroys it. The pool seems quieter now. You would use the word serene, but that would be an odd word to describe a pool of blood. Okay, well, either way, that's the, uh, that's the last thing we need to do for... For Alamon's legendary weapon. All we've got left is uh, Nolan's, and I think I already have the stuff for it. Uh, I just have to go out of my way to to put it all together and go visit the guy, because I've got the I've got the the re requisite elements for the for the cane. Well, no, I have the cane. I have the requisite elements for the staff. All we have to do is go fight the gentleman, and then we'll, we'll be good to go. 
Let's see. So let's get back to harm's way. We might as well make Alamans and maybe I'll switch gully form or something just just so we can show off Alamon a little bit. I don't really know who I'm bringing with me into Hungry. the final dungeon. Have fun. Tell your friends. Who okay. are you? Let's see. So we're not making Ragnarok. We're making Argeus's hallowed bulwark. Well, I'll be here. And that's another one. Yep, so... Fairly nice across the board. We have technically got some other... Oh! That's a level 28 item. So we do lose out on Inner Fire. Which really doesn't change that much. I didn't realize we actually had some equipment for level 28s. There, yeah, there probably is a dungeon attached to the, the final dungeon. Okay, well, this will probably be a fine party. Why am I going this way? Uh, let's see. So what do we need for the... Uh, what do we need for this? At this point, I'm just going to capture this. Yeah, shout out to Neo Seeker for this wonderful guide. Okay, so we have to go... We already have the phylactery of the elemental cores and parts. All we have to do is fight the gentleman. So we already got the distinguished cane. And I have already got the Winking Ring. With the Winking Ring, go to the abandoned way station exploration area. And we have to find a distinguished monocle in there. Okay. So let's let's go to that. I think that's actually a place that I'd been to a very long time. Yeah, we've been here. Just so long ago that it's easy for uh, to forget. I don't think there's anything over there. Yeah, it's that. I think that's where we found the boxer guy that was looking for something, yeah? No. We've never been here. Maybe? I am confusing myself. I mean, it's been 30, 40 episodes. Okay, the gate grins at you wryly, appearing to wink with its one smoky eye. Place the winking ring into the other eye socket. You know, I was actually really wondering about this. Whether or not I'd ever actually get that gate open. I was wondering if I'd missed something. The answer is no, it really was an end game activity. That's cool. I I like this. I, I like the fact that they're reusing this area sort of in an interesting way. And there's the distinguished monocle. Anything else up here? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, we got a bunch of infused crystal shards. Which, we still have those mana chests that I could go open up, but I've been decidedly lazy about it. It just hasn't seemed that important. Okay. So why don't we... Maybe I'll go switch out Nolan for Calibretto. And we'll go fight the gentleman with this. Okay, so I've got the... Uh, I've got the Distinguished Monocle. I've got the... Uh, Top hat. We've got to go up to the, uh... Okay, so I've got to go switch my top hats out. Because apparently, I have to change the distinguished one for the regular one. I don't know why I grab, grab these resources. I, I think it's just a leftover neurosis from the beginning of the game where this was necessary and I didn't have stuff. But now that I'm, like, wildly overpowered, it's not so necessary. Okay, so we want to go to the Siege, siege Coast. Yeah, I might actually be able to beat this game within the next, I would say, hour and ten minutes. If not sooner. Okay, so we're going to the Point Break Cantina. And fellow wearing the top hat there. Okay. I don't remember there, there being a dude with a top hat in here. Oh, there he is. You see a gentleman wearing a top hat. It seems too dignified for him, meaning he probably stole it. He greets you with a polite smile, which you interpret as guilt. Fine day to be alive, isn't it, friend? He gives you a small wink. Offer to trade your top hat for his. So you want to trade hats? Well, let's see what you got. He takes a look at your top hat and examines it. Removing his own, he places them side by side on the table. Well, yours is taller, so I'm game. Takes a right muggin to trade a taller top hat for a shorter one, though. Puts his hat back on and returns yours. Make the trade? Yes. 
I was kind of hoping they would uh, change his model to account for uh, for the new for the new top adage, but that's okay. All right, so now we've got the the appropriate top hat. I think we're good to go to go to go off and fight the gentleman. At which point, all we need to do is finish the game. We'll have every legendary open. I actually thought it was going to be a lot harder than this, um, but once I got the uh, the dragon scale or whatever, the rare drop for for Gully, it got a lot easier. And then I guess I also had to reset the airships because the airships were broken. I I wish they maybe had bug tested it a little bit more. Okay, let's choose party members. Let's get rid of Nolan for Calibretto right now. And let's switch these guys back to their regular appearances. I actually have not... I don't think I've really used Nolan in his regular appearance this entire game. Or not Nolan, Alamon. Uh, I was not a big fan of Garrison's uh, version. And Calibretto looks cool no matter what form he's in. I think I like his base form better, but the uh, the skin for him looked really badass. Okay, we don't care about any of these things, though. We just care about this. Okay, place the top hat, monocle, and cane on the grave. You brought me my things, old chap. Well done. Hmm, how shall I repay you? Oh, I know. W.K. Killington, Esquire. Okay. So I've got Gaia's Fist. Oh, damn, Gaia's Fist got good. I'm not entirely sure how we're bleeding a skeleton dry, but it happens. Okay, magic damage, shields, debuffs. Revive. I mean, it really does seem like mass haste is pretty good. Or I could just do Devastation. Let's just do Devastation. Ouch. Yeah, the one problem is Garrison is still kind of garbage. He never quite got the durability that we needed. But that's okay, because I got healing touch. I got all sorts of things to keep my characters alive. Let's see, so he's casting something new, but that's okay. In retrospect, uh, I like to cast Berserk, but it's very slow. Oh, Slash would have been the... Would have been the thing to use. Well, that'll do it bef before him. Innervating Mist. Let's see. I don't really have anything else to do. Yeah, Blood Boil is a guaranteed crit if they're ignited. So I, should, I, I really probably should have paired Alamon with Nolan a long time ago. Because that would have been a, uh, a solid combo. I'll just hit him with Soul Shard. He's about to die, I think. No, he's just damn close. Well, I guess we do get to see a special move, so it's not so bad. Ah, my friends, before I get to my incredible super attack, I think we best take a moment to reflect on the nature of combat. It's really quite fascinating how conflict has shaped the evolution of our society and its various sentient species. Are we to remain defined by violence, or our need to subdue one another for our own profits and gains? I wonder if it is redundant to say profits and gains. The terms could be easily used interchangeably. And I suppose that's the nature of grammar, and language in general, etymology. Now there's a scholar's topic. Where was I? I'm kind of disappointed Calibretto fell asleep, too. You'd think the robot would not be uh, susceptible as much. Alright, so we got the Beast Perk Big Game Hunter unlocked, and we beat the Gentleman. I'll have to look at that, because that's uh, you get that for completing every hunt. 
but I have no idea what that actually entails. Anyway, so we get Killington's Restored Cane and Dapper Gentleman's Top Hat. Well fought, old sport. Farewell for now. Alright, uh, let's go check. I want to go see my beast perks. How do we? There we are. So I'm sure there's a number we haven't done. 100 enemies from Junktown. Uh, mana Rifts. Yeah, 100 enemies from Strongmont would have been a good idea, actually, if I had thought about it. But most of these don't matter. All defense by 2%. Let's see. Uh, so Big Game Hunter. Increases attack power by 5% for all heroes. Damn. Yeah, there's some stuff I, I could have gone for if I wanted to. But it's also one of those where we really are at the tail end of this game and we are kicking it uh, in the in the hind quarters repeatedly. Uh, and deservedly so. This isn't like a Duris from Elex. Like, I'm actually... I'm actually fair and square just beating this as it is. Which, I, I mean, I, I like. I will... I will uh, admit fully that, like, I prefer games where you can you can become overpowered just by playing the game. And not, like, really going out of your way to do anything apart from just, you know, collecting the, uh, the legendary weapons at the end of the game. I think that was something I didn't like about Final Fantasy X... I don't remember. Could you get all of them before, or did you have to get some of them after? Maybe, I don't know. It's been too long. Okay, well, let's go back to Harm's Way. Let's go make Nolan's staff. Hey. Uh, Careful. And I think... Yeah, yeah. I don't know how I want to do this. Uh, we should probably rest. Wizard, you seem troubled. You could say that. We came to this island to find mana, and great, we found it. Now what? Kadal's presence in the mana rifts kept everyone away. When news hits that he's cleared out, it's going to be a free-for-all. The bandits will claim the mana source, no doubt. Destra promised it to them. But they are scattered. They won't be able to hold it. I'm certain your King Veneer will send an army to wipe them out. Claim it for the territories. Ha! Huh. King Veneer. The bandits may actually be the lesser of a few dozen evils. A troubling situation indeed. But the fate of the island's mana, given the island itself, is of little consequence compared to the threat we now face. If we fail to kill Varus, if we allow the Blood God to escape, it won't matter who controls this island. The Eastern Kingdoms will be ravaged. Hello. We should probably rest at the end until we run out of dialogue. Oh, and there we go. Well, that was easy enough. Why, it's you. My shop is yours. Why, it's you. Okay, so we have Val Valor. We need more... F uh... Yeah, I can make Colossus. Hey, then. Oof. Well, let's go poke our head in the first dungeon. Oh. Most importantly, let's give him Ragnarok. Oh, that tanks his HP like nobody's business. Ouch. What's well, okay? Oh, he's missing his level 27 armor. Yeah, I'm still here. Because I need two phylacteries to do it. Shoot. You're back. Careful. Okay. That sucks. Well, here's the thing. If I go po poke my head in the endgame dungeon, we might... Yeah, we'll probably reveal it as a dungeon. And that will actually make my life easier. Also, mildly disappointed about this. Nolan's Ragnarok staff has the exact same model as the Breath of Winter and the other Breath of Winter that I have. I... Like, it's, at least with Garrison's sword, it makes sense. It's kind of come full circle, but... Oh, well. I don't know, I was just hoping the legendary weapons would be suitably so. Alright. Oh, 
Night's Keep is an exploration area. Not a dungeon. Varys had extremely extravagant tastes. Noticing my frame rate is chugging a bit here. It's awfully quiet. Oh, we really are right at the end here. Well, I could go do things. Or I could just say, screw it, we're probably fine, and go kick his ass. I was hoping there would be another fountain here, but it doesn't look like it. Well, this is just a tinker station. I was actually really hoping I could get a, uh... I could do some last minute enchanting. But it's okay, I don't think we need it. And if we do end up needing it, well, then, whatever. Uh... Oh, we still got that crystal there. A little too quiet. What if they're both in there? Then it'll be twice the fun. We should hear something, shouldn't we? Who knows how vampires and demon lords duke it out. The suspense is killing me anyway. Let's get it done. Right. And normally I'd bring Shell on to voice act these, but there's not a whole lot of points where you really need to voice act anything. Varys isn't here, I'm afraid. He and his witch played a clever game indeed. But no matter, wherever he's fled, I will find him. He could join me. The only place you're going is back in your cage. Arnfar, you haven't told your companions, have you? The nature of the very magic that sustains you. The same as mine. Blood magic. We figured it out. Ah, swordsman. I see darkness within you. Why do you fight against this greatest of gifts? There is a shadow in each of you. The good is but a cage for the ambitious darkness within. I can make you powerful. I can set you free. Your words are empty, demon. You speak of power and freedom. Yet your own skin is a prison. Come now. Let's end this. It always bugs me when, like, you have, like, the deep... Wow. Yeah, you have, like, this extreme demon body situation, and then also just, like, a regular pair of tits hanging off of it. It's just a little weird. Especially with those physics. Well, it's life. Okay, so we've got... Market could draw. Non-dispellable deals 123,700 damage, piercing damage after five actions have been taken. Oh, boy. Okay, what else have we got? Strong start. Extra attack power. Reduces magical damage taken by 50%. Characters immune to stuns. And haste up by 30%. Well, this is peachy. Uh, so what do we got? Well, Cleansing Rain might not actually be immediately useful. Might be helpful nonetheless, though. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see, I could do a Sting. Gives them a Bleed Effect. I feel like Bleed Effects are probably going to be my, my best here. Okay, Rupture would be very good. we got to get her Sundered. I mean, I could do Rally Strike. And... I'm just gonna do as many status effects as I can possibly chuck at them. It's a shame I can't get rid of Doom, but... I guess I'll just make the most of it. Now is it... Okay, it's after five actions. Okay, I'm glad I put down Cleansing Rain now. Okay. Uh, let's see, so we haven't gotten a Sunder. Oh, but you know what I could do? I bet I could do... No, Rupture isn't going to work. It's a 5,000 damage bleed. Okay, yeah, let's, let's do Bloodbath. 
And we'll just do a regular gut punch. Stack that on. Okay. So, 3,000. You know, it's probably better to just keep stacking uh, Arcane Storm. Yeah, Barrier Shift Physical. I'm just going to keep hitting Control with whatever I've got. And I'm just going to keep casting Cleansing cleansing Rain whenever we can, because that's just going to keep me alive. We're already halfway down. So that's good. Okay, so we want to do... Impale Rupture. I don't know how many bleed effects I can stack on this, but I'm hoping I can stack a ton. Because... That gets more bleed... I don't know, whatever. The bleeding damage is really good, and this is, I think, going to be the longest fight I have in the game. Let's see, so he's about to go down-ish. I guess I could do a Ice Lance. Ice Lance! Yeah, we might actually beat the clock and uh, save Nolan here. Yeah, we are. Oh, okay, there's a bleed effect in there. Uh, let's see. Well, I can hit him with a Berserk. Guy's fist? I don't know. Kind of a bad time. Okay, there goes the bleed, but that's... We didn't... Oh, no, that actually would have would have been kind of nice. Well, I have Mana Surge. I guess I'll just cast Arcane Storm. Oof, damage. And we might not... Oh, hello, super move. Yeah. Okay, well, I could do many other things. Or I could just War Machine it to death. It's piercing damage, so it should just be a, uh, a perfect kill. Or not a perfect kill, but an easy kill. But yeah, it looks like they're sequel baiting by having Varus be the... Uh... Yeah, Queen of the North, there she goes. Sequel baiting by having Varus not here. Which is kind of cool. Unless we have a follow-up boss fight. Could also be a thing. Oblivion is calling your name, demon. Solomon! Fool. We both know you lack the power to destroy me. Perhaps Varys could have. But not you. Trapping me was your only hope. Don't let him escape. Move aside, or I promise you, I will bring ruin to all you hold dear. Well, that isn't much. It can't be. A lane. A vessel. Devil Hunter, back off. He's got his reasons. We've dealt with Kadral, at least for now. But what about Varus? Varus is free of the demon's curse. Even now, his powers are returning. When they do, then I'm afraid we'll know. We can't just wait around for that to happen. We have to find him. <laughs> yes, I suppose we do. Uh. Here we go again. You know how I said it might take an hour to beat this? It took half an hour. Holy crap. Dungeon complete, Knight's Keep. Game complete, Battle Chasers Night War. I... That was fantastic. Uh... It's probably going to remain one of my favorite RPGs for a very long time. Uh... Relatively short and fairly self-contained. Obviously, there was a bunch of grinding that maybe they could have uh, had some options to let you skip it or, you know, just smooth, smoothed out some of the kinks. You know, rare spawns leading to legendary artifacts or uh, 
or certain other perks and stuff is kind of uh, a nuisance. I'd almost prefer it if the dungeons were specifically designed, mainly because I loved how pretty the dungeons were, and it was kind of a shame that uh, uh, the dungeons after a while just felt like a collection of, uh, of rooms, you know, maybe with the occasional puzzle, uh, but ultimately there weren't anything I needed to care about. Not like, uh, maybe it's because none of them were mem memorable, they all served about the same purpose. Uh, and I, I specifically still remember, uh, rooms from dungeons from Twilight Princess to Tales of Symphonia. Uh, and, like, what I had to do in those. And in this I'm just gonna remember, hey, there was a dude in a bridge and there was really, really kick-ass music when I started fighting him. Um, but at the same time, like, it was actually a, a nice system. And it did make repeat runs through the through the dungeons maybe a little bit more tolerable. Uh, so I don't really know uh, where to where I stand on all of that. But where I do stand is this game was magnificent, looked great, music was amazing, and just in general it was really fun to play. So yeah, thanks so much everybody from uh, Airship Entertainment, Airship. Sin Airship one or the other. I'm so bad at forgetting the second section. Thanks, Airship team, for making this. Because you guys really, really outdid yourself. Selves? And I can't wait to see the inevitable, probable sequel. Because this definitely, uh... This definitely was one of those... That will have one. I'm trying to think if I'm actually going to be in the Kickstarter. Uh... I don't know if I'm going to be in the Kickstarter, uh, like, special thanks at the end here. Because... See, do I recognize any of these names? No, I don't. That's cool. They had great voice acting, I just wish they had had more of it for, like, every dialogue. Wouldn't have taken that much longer. Uh... Hopefully, whatever they do, uh, for, for the next one will actually be truly a, uh, like a, a fully voice acted, even maybe like a, a deeper product. They had some great mechanics there. I, I thought the whole like uh, Beast Journal perks system was really cool, even if I didn't capitalize it on, uh, on it fully. I guess really I didn't even need to. No, I guess I'm not in the Kickstarter thanks here, because they didn't have any. That works. All right, so. We can continue, obviously, but it wouldn't really do much for, for me. And there's also a new game plus, which is just the game, but harder. Uh, neither of which really, really interested me right now. I'm I'm very much a... That was a wonderful, wonderful product. Very fun to play through. And now I am done. So, thanks everybody for watching. This is a blast to do a series on. And I hope you guys enjoy whatever I, uh, I make next that you watch. I don't know. Whatever. But seriously, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.